The, the greatest challenge we face is, is, is going to be find, finding young men who have the same character that BJ and his teammates have. You know, that senior group really set the legacy or laid a, a great foundation for us. I just told them, I said, I'm not sure if they're going to build a statue of you guys, but they, they really should because 100 years from now, people are going to be talking about this lacrosse team. It's, it's just simply amazing what they have done. So our greatest challenge of what, what's next is, is finding, finding kids who want to be men and who are going to accept every challenge, regardless of how talented they are. Our team beat talent the past week. You know, we, we beat Villanova and, and Denver last week out in Denver, and they were more talented than us. And then that team on the field today, gosh, they got more talent at every position and probably two or three deep. And these guys accepted that. So our biggest challenge is finding kids who can accept it and are willing to work to, to try and overcome it. Ah, yeah, it's, um, you got two hours because I can, I can talk forever about it, you know? And uh, I've said this line probably a thousand times that, that these kids have made me such a better coach, but more importantly, they've made me a better person. And, uh, and they've proven to me that talent doesn't win, love wins. These kids have loved each other unconditionally. And, uh, and I told them before the game, I said, if there's one thing that people in the stadium are gonna see, they're gonna see what love means on a, on a, on a field. And uh, these kids loved each other, and they fought every ounce of their hearts and souls to try and just grasp more time. And they came up short today. And, uh, and I'll refer back to this moment for the rest of my career. This moment last week, there'll never be a moment that I'll be more satisfied as a coach, uh, just being around these kids. Y you folks don't know. Nobody on the outside knows what these guys have gone through. Nobody. And, uh, and that's OK, because as I told them in the locker room, these guys know. These guys know what it was like to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and shovel the field and, and practice and, and practice in a hockey rink for the first six weeks of the season. And, and oh, by the way, you're going to win the first seven games and travel 11,000 miles on a plane and a bus before you're allowed to play a home game. And realize that no team wants to come here because you guys are starting to build a good program and it's too far to, dra to travel. So we're going to go on the road and play everybody. Nobody realizes that. These kids still don't have a locker room to hang their stuff. And that one time, not one time has any single one of these men complained. They've just fell deeper in love with the process, with this university and each other, and fought. And they created one of the best teams in the country. And they've left a le legacy that it's going to be hard to top. It's going to be hard to top. So to answer your question in short, man, I don't know what they mean to me besides the world. I mean, like everyone in the locker room is like, super sad and like just kind of a whirlwind that's happening emotionally but for me I'm just so happy and so proud of like our program and this university and how far we've come in five years um, I'm so I made a spontaneous decision to come here and this university has backed us 1000 percent and I couldn't have asked for a better institution um, so proud of my teammates as well like just coach Amplo everything like words can't explain how happy I am to come to this university and be able to re represent Marquette every single day yeah, I mean, that's for everyone else to decide. We just did our jobs, and, and that's what we came in here with the mentality of do. We just took it every single day. Can we make this a better place than it was the day before? And that's something we took our pride in, and we feel like we did that. But the real foundation's been like laid through the institution. Like Now everyone's going to rally around it, and people are going to really take the next step. I and mean, this is going to be a national university for lacrosse. And that's what's something what we should be proud of. And it's been a fun ride. It's been a really, really, really fun time. And that's what college lacrosse is supposed to be like. It's just a testament to our institution. And it's a testament to the hard work that we've put in. I mean, coach gave credit to the facility staff. I give credit to the marketing department. We just have, we feel like Alabama football every time, like because the university makes us feel that important. And that's a, that's a privilege. And, and walking on the field today was a privilege to represent Marquette, and it was a privilege to play in an NCAA tournament game and compete against the best, one of the best teams in the country.